Olympics. Too often we equate the courage of athletes with the true courage displayed by soldiers, firemen, policemen. In special athletes, though, we do find true courage and strength and the determination to overcome disability. Jeremy Schaap with the story of one such athlete whose courage is better measure, measured, not by yards gained, but by hearts touched. E.J. Grishillo isn't the most talented player on the Somers New York middle school football team, but he is the most enthusiastic. Hey, what are you doing? It's his passion. Passion is very important. And it's his passion to play football. He's been wanting to play really probably since he's been five. E.J. was born with Down syndrome, a genetic condition associated with mental retardation. This past summer, as a 15-year-old about to begin eighth grade at Somers Middle School, E.J. told his mother that he wanted to play football. Naturally, she feared for his safety. I was a little hesitant about letting him play. And um, I remember I had just gotten off the phone talking with a friend, and I hear this voice from the kitchen, Mom, why won't you let him play? It was E.J.'s 12-year-old brother, Alex. I thought, why can't he play? She's always telling us to follow our dreams. Why can't he do this and play? So with that note, uh, coming from his brother, I, um, I said, okay, let's do this. And then we got him to medical, and it's like, well, you know, he came home with a set of pads, and that was like the greatest thing he ever had in his life. It's like, I got pads, Dad, I got pads. E.J. was now in uniform practicing with the team. Gradually, Bud Von Hein, the Somers coach, increased E.J.'s level of participation. He would do the warm-up drills. He would do the running and the stretching. He would decide at what point he'd had enough and take a break. And then when we started doing some of the individual blocking and tackling drills, I would try and set him up with some of the kids who I knew were his friends and let him participate in those. One day I pulled in to pick him up and I saw him running with the ball. At that point, I had no idea that they had decided to really start using him. And the tears, I just <laughs> busted into tears. The Somers coaches had added the EJ shuffle to their playbook, a running play designed specifically for EJ in which the quarterback hands off to EJ, but no one attempts to tackle him. Before the first game of the season against John Jay Middle School, Von Hein approached the John Jay coach. Bud said to me, you know, I have, uh, have this one kid, EJ, he's got Down syndrome, you know, we'd like to get him in, you know, get him in a play. You know, if you guys could run to play, you know, you know, just, you know, maybe kids don't hit him and, you know, we let him run. And we, you know, and I said, sure, Bud, you know, not a problem. You know, we'll, you know, when do you want to do it? The coaches agreed that E.J. would be allowed to carry the ball unimpeded into the end zone and that the touchdown wouldn't count. The John Jay players received specific instructions from their coach. Make it look good. You know, I don't want you to just stand there. And I believe they took it to heart. When he got the ball and he started running, the other, the other team, they were diving for him, they were grabbing for him. We were all blocking each other and still hitting each other, except that they weren't exactly hitting EJ. They were still trying. There's that moment where you think, oh my gosh, this is real, this is really happening. And for those moments, he doesn't have Down syndrome. He's just this kid. And I happened to look over um, to the parents of the opposing team, and they're all yelling and jumping up and down. And later, I thanked them for their support. And one father looked at me, and I'll never forget it. He said, no, thank you. Did you have a good time? Uh, yes. What did you enjoy most? I asked a, a mom, dad, um, um, is a pay, 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 a EJ scored three touchdowns in Somers' four games. To the EJ shuffle, his coaches added a pass play, which EJ learned to execute precisely in practice 
and once even in a game. Football, his family says, has improved EJ's self-esteem. It's made him happier and healthier. Just the way he's walking, the confidence, you can see it in his body. His speech has definitely improved, which is amazing. He's doing his homework, <laughs> which right there, I wish he could play football all year round. I'm happy for him that he can do it because I can do anything and some things he can and by doing this, he's like a normal kid and that makes me feel good. Next fall, EJ will attend Somers High School, whose coach Tony DiMatteo was named the 2003 High School Coach of the Year by the NFL. DiMatteo, who oversees the middle school program where EJ played already, has already encouraged him to join the team next year.